Hey, I'm Matt Wagner with FinancialExcellence.net. I'm doing another tutorial on a do-it-yourself WordPress website uh, development. And today we're going to talk about how do you add a Facebook like badge to your website. Now, what I'm talking about here is a lot of times we'll go to my website here and show you an example. A lot of times we see uh, just on a website off to the side, you see this little badge that says, hey, like us on Facebook, or you already like us, and, and then show all the people that are liking you. Sometimes you see a, a uh, feed, uh, an RSS feed in there, just so you can see all the recent posts for that page or that profile. And a lot of people want to know, how do you add that to your website? And I think it's important that you do that if you're trying to grow at least your Facebook presence. You want to add that badge in there so you have uh, what we call a call to action on your website so people when they're on your website well what's the so what what do you want them to do while they're browsing your site one of the one of the things you want them to do is join your facebook page or like you on facebook so how do we do that well first uh you got to start with a facebook page if you don't have one that's real easy to do too and we have some other tutorials with which you can learn how to set up your facebook page pretty easy pretty self-explanatory so you start with your Facebook page, your fan page, or what used to be the fan page, now it's the like page. So you want to know what is your URL for your Facebook page. Now in this case we have a vanity URL because we have more than 25 people who like us on Facebook. So you want to know what it is, and ours is facebook.com slash financial excellence. Now, if you don't have more than 25 people that like you on Facebook, you can't have the URL, the, the vanity URL, and you have to go with your ID number. And you can figure out that URL based on your settings once you access your page, but it'll be right up here. So when you're ready to create your badge, we want to go to edit your page. And we go straight to marketing. And under marketing, that's where we want to add a like box to our website. Now here, they pull up a default. I don't know why they do this in Facebook, but they have a default here. Now here's the place where you want to put in your, oops, you want to put in your URL that I should have copied from before. So I'm going to go HTTP because I already know what it is. And it's facebook.com slash financial excellence. And when I click off of here, it should automatically pop up the like badge for my, or the like box for my website or my Facebook page. Now, you'll see here that it's got most all of my recent posts on there. And it's got a group of people that like us. These are the people out there on Facebook that like our page. Pretty cool stuff. And you can start associating real people with a business or a product uh, on your Facebook page so that other people can see, hey, I'm, there are more people out there that like this. You can change your width. We're already at 292. Let's say we want to go a little bit narrower and put it in a, a sidebar that's only 150 pixels wide. That's what it would look like here. And you can play around with this. Uh, let's say we only want to have five connections shown and we'll click off of that. And it will only show, down here it will only show up to five connections. And it depends on the width that you pick. Uh, I like the color scheme. The new changes here, you can go to a dark color scheme which gives you a really cool look. If you've got a darker website, this would blend in with that a little bit better and look awful nice. You can also pick to whether you want this to show. That's the header. You click off of there. Now you don't have that anymore. You can also decide if you want to show the stream of your most recent posts or not. I don't choose. I don't, I don't like having that stream in there. Uh, it's just personal preference. So I'm going to go back to 292 width, and I'm going to leave the stream off, but I'm going to put the header back in. And now it says find us on Facebook. Here's the name of the page. I already like it, and I can choose to unlike it, or I can other people can choose to like it. And notice I only chose five connections. I'm going to go back to, let's choose 15 connections, and it will show, actually based on the space, it'll show basically two lines here. So if I want more than those 10 in there, I'll have to make it a little bit wider. So now that you, we know what we want it to look like, and next I'm going to go back to light and set it back to my 10 connections. And now all you have to do is go and get your code. Now I'm going to pick on the iframe. I'm going to click here and right click copy. XBFML is, or XFBML 
is if you want to put uh, basically HTML coding in your Facebook pages or your Facebook profile. So I just want to copy this code for the iframe and then I'm going to go back into my dashboard. We'll go to my dashboard for my website and this is, a, this is our financialexcellence.net dashboard and yours should look something similar to this. Now I'm going to go to appearance over on the left here in my options. I'm going to go to I'm going to go click on widgets and then I'm going to add a widget. Now we did have another video tutorial on how to add a widget in a different different tutorial that you can find at financialexcellence.net and basically what you do is we're going to pick on text and we're going to place it over here wherever we want it and here's my text widget. I'm going to click here. I'm going to right click and paste and there's my iframe. I'm going to save it and now when I go to my website I'm going to click up here and go view it see what it, what it looks like here. Now there's the original one that I had. Here's the new one that I just pasted in there and you can see what it looks like. It's very easy to do this. I'm actually going to go back in and delete that so I don't have two different copies of the same thing on here. But I wanted to illustrate how easy it is to put this Facebook like box out there on your website. It's actually it's so easy. Uh, I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that unless your, your social media strategy is not to grow your Facebook presence. So take some time, check it out, play around with it. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Wagner with financialexcellence.net.